Hello my viewers, in this video I will take you to the tour to training.mulesoft.com which is official training portal of Mulesoft. So there are a lot of questions here and there in social media that are asking about uh, certifications or training things. So in this video I just wanted to take a tour to this training website so that what all features are available in training uh, and uh, certification website and uh, what things need to be keep in mind uh, wh when you are giving an examinations and all. So let's uh, go to training platform of MuleSoft. So training.mulesoft.com is the official website uh, by MuleSoft. Okay. So when you run this training.mulesoft.com URL, you can see a login bot button over here. Okay. When you drop down it, you have two options, whether you want to log into training platform or to any point platform. So if you want to go ahead for with training and certification platform, just click on training. All right. So it will ask you, it will prompt you for a login screen. Uh, if you don't have an account, please do sign up for your training account. Okay. So give your email ID, password, all these details. Okay. Once you have signed up, just verify it. You will be getting a verification email to your address. So once you are verified, you are good to sign in. Okay. So as of now, I have a uh, any training and uh, certification account. So uh, remember one thing training account is totally different from any point platform account so don't think that whether you if you have any point platform account uh, already which you got set up uh, it is not used for training account okay so make sure that you have an account for training website so let me sign in and show you what all things are present here so this is the page that you will get when you sign into training uh, training platform so you can see that currently I am on dashboard platform over here, right? So it it shows the dashboard of what all things, you know, what are enrollments or what are certification exams that I have given or what all uh, training that have, you know, uh, opted for and what is the current progress and all. You can see here, right? Currently I'm having like multiple uh, courses enrolled and still my progress is like 1% or 3% and I have start, I haven't started few. Okay, so these are the self placed training again it is showing here if it is self I will come to what is self placed or private or instructor led trainings in uh, coming dashboards. So here you can see the enrollments uh, these are the current enrollments that I have and you can also see uh, the certification exams tab. Okay, when you click on certification exams tab so most of them are asking like uh, uh, what happened to your uh, you know I can't see my certification where can I find it so you can find under this tab all right so if you can see here you can view the result okay so this is all about the dashboard okay so before going to dashboard right when you are new to training uh, trade this train new to this training portal I want you to update your you know I want you guys to update your profile first if you see here there is a profile option over here when you click on this icon click on profile all right you can see here there are three tabs one is account information one is password information and the other one is personal information so this is your username whenever you want to log into training uh, portal you have to use this uh, gmail uh, sorry your mail id uh, to log in and you can update your first name last time whenever you want and um, the most important thing which most of them forget to do is updating the time zone suppose if you are in uh, india if you are you need to choose the time zone of ist or else what will happen suppose uh, i am traveling to us okay but uh, but still my time zone is set to ist so if i try to log in you know if i try to uh, register for any examination still my time zone is ist so what happens is i, I may forget that you know i haven't changed my time zone so when I am in US uh, I, I'll be thinking about my US time zone right so there will be a conflict of uh, time zones so make sure that whenever or wherever you are there make sure that you update your time zone accordingly this is very very important point all right so next thing is uh, the security question uh, for safety purpose if you forgot your password and all it will be helping you to uh, uh, reset it all right so there is an uh, option called password here there is a tab called password where you can reset your password if you want all right so the other one is personal information where you can uh, enter all your details including your address email id and phone number 
Okay. This is all about your profile information. What is the next thing that we can do? So, there is an option called my learnings over here, right? Click on my learnings. So, my learnings will show you a pie chart first. Okay. It will give a graph of a pie chart where uh, how many courses you have enrolled and how many are completed and how many are still in progress. This is the uh, you know this is your learning okay your learning platform to the courses which you have registered you can see here right your completions and all it, it includes your certifications as well right. So, previously when I have shown you in the dashboard let me go to the dashboard. So, there is a common question asked by many of them that they cannot find. So, this is a new brand new training platform Pre, uh, we, we used to have earlier older version of training uh, training portal. So, the, most of them are saying that I can find my MCD certification that it is mules of certified develop certification, but I can't find the certifications which I have completed earlier. In that case what you can do is you can go to my learnings. All right, you can see your certificates and all over here. Like, you see, I have completed my integration architect level one examination. I have my platform architect examination, right? I have my RAML certification exam. So, and I have like you know Delta certification. All these certifications are completed by me, and it uh, it is present under my learnings. Okay, it may not be found over here, but don't worry, you can find them under my learnings. So, what what if still you are unable to? find your certifications. It is always better to email to training ops at the rate mulesoft.com. So, this is the mail id training ops at the rate mulesoft.com. Please feel free to mail uh, mulesoft team so that they will be helping you to figure out what is the issue. All right. So, this is uh, this is regarding your my completions and all. If you want to print your certification, right, you can click on print certificate, all right, which uh, ask you to uh, you can see here, right, uh, you can see the brand new certification of certificate that MuleSoft has now, okay. So, if you go back again here. Um, so, this is all about your, uh, you know. Uh, my learning page okay this is very helpful for you to track where you are all right next thing is a uh, dashboard we have already seen uh, when we are logging into training portal the default page that comes over is dashboard so don't get confused between dashboard and my learnings okay it's always better to keep your my learnings over here it's always better to track uh, on my learning stack all right so what is the next part here so courses when you click on courses, suppose if you want to register to any new course, okay, this is the page where you need to uh, enroll for the uh, training programs. All right. So if you click on courses, you can see that like there are multiple courses here, right? So you can filter out based upon your requirement. So self placed are something which is for free, okay. If you are uh, filtering out, you can see here that there are like you know uh, getting started with any point platform, flow design, and all. So people who are new to MuleSoft, uh, the first training which they have to opt is any point platform fundamentals. So there is a difference between any point platform fundamentals and any point platform development Mule 4 for Mule 3 user. So what is this? So Mule 4 for Mule 3 users is for the guys who have experience on Mule 3 and they wanted to learn Mule 4 is for them, but people who wanted to get started with Mule 4, so they have to go with any point platform fundamentals. So, if you click on this, it will redirect you to uh, the page where you can register for. Okay, This is free training and it is an excellent training program by uh, MuleSoft team. So, please try to uh, register for this exam Okay, and um, you can see all these details over here okay course curriculum and all so make sure that uh, you are making use of this uh, self placed free trainings effectively so going back to courses there are few other courses where which are like you know instructor led for them if you want to show you can click on uh, instructor led over here okay uh, there are like you know architect level course operational level course all these are like uh, runtime fabric all these courses are instructor led right? okay so if you want to suppose if you want to opt for any point platform operations cloud up 
okay see so before going into which course you want to opt make sure that uh, you should have a clear picture on what you need okay so if you can if you see here like due to this pandemic time most of the uh, you know courses are online uh, instructor led courses uh, so you can see there are like two options online or in person make sure you are uh, opting according to your requirement all right so going to courses again this is how you need to wear you need to register things okay but if you are not sure about uh, which course you want to take right so there is an option here if you are not sure which course to take find your learning path so this learning this learning path is nothing but the same learning path if you click here you will be going into that tab okay so if you are a developer you want to know what are the courses that you want to opt you can click on this view learning path under developer tab if you want to go, so it will show you what all courses that you need to do okay it clearly says like first you have to go for any point platform development fundamentals mule 4 this is the first course you have to do uh, when you are new to MuleSoft and you uh, when you are opting for development course all right so next step is to uh, complete this mule 4 quiz and diy exercises do it yourself exercises they are these are really really very helpful for you to get start with MuleSoft. okay and uh, then you know this is the examination that you have to give okay so first thing is you need to register for this course okay complete the training program then attempt a free quiz all right and do the exercises and then uh, attend the certification exam yourself certified developer level one after that uh, you know if you want to go a step ahead you can opt for data view there is a separate uh, you know course for data view as well okay so in this way this learning path will help you to understand what are the first steps so this most of them uh, i have this question in their mind asking for you know where i have to start what i need to do so instead of asking anyone mulesoft website it is very clear that what you have to start and where you have to start for example if you are going with integration architect step one step two go ahead with that all right so so for everything MuleSoft AnyPoint platform fundamentals for Mule 4 is very very important that is the first step all right so we have completed dashboard courses learning paths there is a tab called certifications all right so you can see what kind of certifications uh, that MuleSoft provides and what you have to do so MuleSoft certified developer level 1 and MuleSoft certified developer level 1 delta so again there is a question uh, among like most of them asking for the difference between MuleSoft certified developer level 1 and MuleSoft certified developer delta level 1 delta so the only difference is the delta so the delta uh, certification is for the guys who have completed mule 3 certification okay so those who are from mule 3 background and those who have completed the certification if you if i click over delta over here the instructions are pretty clear okay you don't need you all 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 that you need to do is to read the instructions carefully all right so it is clearly said like for this delta you should be able to successfully work on mule 4 projects with the guidance and supervision all right next they are asking that you have to complete integration and api associate mule 3 exam first for this all right so for that so, uh, and uh, you will be having only 35 questions for this exam and the duration is 75 minutes and the pass score is 70 percent okay the number of questions will be less because you have already experience on mule 3 and uh, there will be less questions in delta when compared to the actual level 1 exam okay so if you click on level one so this doesn't require any mule 3 certification you can directly opt the only difference between delta and here is uh, you will be having 60 questions in level one whereas in delta we have seen there are only 35 questions uh, here the duration is 120 minutes which is two hours whereas in delta it is like 75 minutes okay but don't worry both certifications holds the same value it's not that you know the delta is something which is superior or level one is a normal one both holds the same thing because the new users usually start off their uh, learning path with mule 4 okay mule 4 delta is something for the users who have uh, mule 3 experience so integration api associate again this is on mule 3 all right and integration professional this is also on mule 3 
and if you want to write a certification on RAML, RAML 1.0 that is for Mules of Certified Developer API Design Associate. This is a 90, uh, 90 minutes exam uh, and uh, I guess this is like non proctored one. Yeah, this is the open book question, uh, open book and non proctored and it is of 90 minutes duration with 47 questions. The pass score for this is 75 percent, all right. Whereas, except this RAML 1.0, every exam is like you know proctored, okay. So, you can see currently it is showing virtual and all, okay, because due to this pandemic time we do not have like uh, you know uh, exam centers to go and write. So, all these exams are virtual now, okay. Once things get settled, we will be having an option for us to go to centers and write the exam, okay. And uh, we do not now we do not have any third party website or somewhere like previously we used to write our exam in web accessor, but now uh, everything here. So, most of the questions again we get is uh, do we get voucher and all. Now, there is no voucher concept in MuleSoft, okay. So, directly they will be enrolling you for the exam, there is no voucher concept, okay. Directly once you are purchasing the exam, they will enroll the exam for you directly, okay. Then follow the instruction, a dedicated proctor will be assigned to you. Okay, you, you can parallelly chat with them if you have any issues, okay. Even if something happens in the middle of your examination due to power cut or connectivity issues or anything, feel free to drop a mail to training ops at the rate newsop.com which you know the guys the team is like very helpful to um, you know uh, uh, resolve your queries, alright. So, training credits this is the last option that we have in our training portal. So, there is something called flexible training credits, you can buy it. So, one flexible training credit is equivalent to 250 dollars. To know more about flexible training credits, uh, you know, you can go over this page and read the instructions and all, okay. So, basically it is allows you to easily purchase the training and certification services. So, whenever for example, whenever the required courses or number of attendees have not been determined in such cases, you can make use of this flexible training credits, okay. There are more, uh, more there are there is more information about uh, FTCs here, you can just go through over here, alright. So, once again I wanted to tell you that any questions if you have, please do drop a mail to training ops at the red mules of dot com, they are very helpful to resolve your issues, ok. So, this is the two to training platform of official uh, training website of mules of, hope you liked it.